Thanks, Riv. Now, Curse with a commanding start to the series, taking both wins and keeping CLG off the board. And that was a dominating win, 22 minutes, yeah. just over 22 minutes. It got out of hand so fast. I mean, so what, what are the factors of that? I mean, they did have a, a bit of a snowball -y comp with the Jinx and the, and the Cinder being able to take down turrets pretty quickly. But what was, what was up with CLG? How did they let that happen? I think there were two pretty big things early in the game that happened. The first thing was Dexter capping the ever-living crap out of top. While he was doing that, they lost all control on the bottom side of the map. They lost a turret, they lost dragon, I think they lost a blue buff too. And basically it made them unable to do anything and didn't even get anything out of it. They didn't even kill Quas. They lost so much pressure off of that. And they wasted so many so much time and resources. I don't know if it was double if calling Dexter to camp there or if Dexter just wanted to camp there. But whoever did that, they can't be doing that. You can't waste your jungler's time like that for no reason. And the second major thing was that big fight at like 13 minutes or something like that. They used Zillion ult, they lost his ulti, and they tried to fight after anyway. And when teams are like that, you can basically tell they're desperate. They lost their turret, they're upset, they want to get something back. So they try to do a team fight, and that didn't work out for them. All right, well, let's, let's jump into camp that replay, so long. actually. Like, let's that's just, the thing. Yeah, I mean, he, can't, he wasted a ton of time top lane, but let's jump into that replay yes. that you were talking about, Hyatt. 13 minutes. It's kind of a poor choice and engage, like you said, from CLG. Jad, if you don't mind, walking us through yeah, it. Yeah, we were talking about the very start of this, how much CLG lost without Curse really burning anything. So let's just roll this right now, because they're sieging down the turret, but Aphromu takes so much poke that it eventually has to burn his ultimate. The Cinder Stun, he almost died here, right? Like, he... Barely got the stun off by the time that hit. You could hear by the sound. But then they're thinking, oh man, Jinx Rocket is down. But you know what else is down? Your Zillion ult. And Seraph isn't that strong yet. He walks into the grouped up curse. And it's what Hai was saying. It was total desperation right there. As soon as he jumps in, what's preventing curse from just killing them straight up? There is no threat to back up the Maokai. And when that happened, the game really started getting out of hand. Because they'd used all their plans already and it wasn't working. Well, so at that point, we saw CLG get even more desperate. They chose to fi fight again and again and again, losing battles. Hi, as a shot caller, as a team leader, who is it, is it on that person's shoulders to like just say, hey, we have to stop. Everyone take a breath. Take a step back. Let's slow this game down. What, what are the steps you can take as a leader in a team to kind of help your team get back into that mindset? Whoever's making these risky calls, I think they're okay. But when you make risky calls like this, this is what happens. Sometimes they work out and other times they don't. As you see, they made a risky call there. They lost the game off of that. So whoever is doing the main shot climb for CLG probably has to relax a bit, think a little bit more calmly, and take better planned risk. They shouldn't just go into things because they're upset or they feel like they're in a hall or uh, against the wall. They have to think a little bit, take their time, and do smarter things. They're not really thinking through what they're doing right now. Who starts a fight with down on ultimate and making... Like, the Ma they had a good idea. Maokai tried to flash in to catch Syndra and try and catch him out, but it was just too far away. And it's just like, you're forcing things way too hard and you're getting punished for it. You need to calm down and think a little bit. And when I was looking at the team compositions as well, I actually really liked CLG's comp and champ select. They had really strong front line with still able to put out damage. If Ryze and Maokai were to have gotten ahead that game, I think they could have just pushed through Curse yet they focused all of their ganks on the top lane Lucian and basically just threw Ryze and Maokai to the Wolves as far as assistance goes. And the Lucian doesn't matter if he doesn't have a tank line in front of him. He's actually one of the least important parts of that team composition. So I think CLG was just a little bit desperate and tunneling on certain things. Right, so they had a really late game scaling composition with that Ryze and the Maokai who get pretty beefy, have a front line, and can support that Lucian. Yet... They threw the game away with a couple pretty poor engages. We're actually going to take another look yeah. at one of them at 17 minutes, or right near at the end of the game, uh, 22 minutes in. Here, this is kind of an interesting choice by Link. Uh, hi, if you could walk us through this one. What, what's the decision making here? Well, at this point, Silji knows if they don't win a fight or do something, they will lose the game. So they try to force something, and once again, he flashes in, doesn't get anyone, and it's just straight dead again. At this point in time, they're too far back or behind to actually do anything. But even then, when you look at Silji's team comp, they have such good scaling champions, but the entire game, they're trying to be aggressive. They're trying to force things, when instead they could just play a little bit more passive, be a little bit more calm, Give up some objectives, which is fine, but let yourself scale. When your Maokai is like level 10, no items, your Ryze is like level 12, no items, why are you trying to fight? If you give those two champions time to scale, they become infinitely strong. Like, there's no way they can deal with Maokai at the end of the game if he gets his items or a Ryze. But they spend 20 minutes of the game trying to get ahead when they don't have to get ahead. And when you're fighting against teams like Syndra and Jinx that are actually pretty strong early in mid-game, then I don't know what you're thinking. Like, 
game one, they didn't know how to play against Zillion that well and or play with the AP Kalgma. This game, they didn't understand that they should let their team scale. I, don't, I think they're just like, until, I don't even know. I do have to give credit to Curse as well. We know that Curse is an incredibly emotional team that takes momentum in a very serious way. They got the 17-minute Baron, which was a really good call. Another Max Consume Nunu, which is the opposite skill order that Dexter had done on Nunu the previous game. Dexter did Max E. They used it for the objective control. And when Curse gets going, they gain their confidence. And that's when you really see their true potential come out. And they're there right now. So CLG is in big trouble. Yeah, we have to give some credit to Curse, of course, because you don't win in 22 minutes if you're not doing anything exactly. right. Exactly. But uh, one more thing about CLG, Jat, while we were watching the game, you kind of mentioned when teams go to another region or try to adapt and play against a new style, and then they, they kind of revert, they come back to the NA, and they're back against what they used to be playing against. They haven't, they kind of are faltering in, 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 in between the two metas. We see it all the time when you have pockets of scrims. I actually remember it from last year in the NA playoffs. Both sides of the brackets had different metas that they were operating within. Curse was in like the Heal Ignite Mundo top with TSM, and you saw both Quas and Dyrus playing that. And then the other bracket had a completely different thing. Korea has their own set of picks right now, and you can tell that CLG has picked all of those things up. So all the stuff they're playing is kind of on three or four weeks of practice with the new stuff. It's not necessarily a bad thing. It's just a reflection of their practice opponents. All right, and one final question, hi. In this situation where CLG is only going to be more desperate being down 0-2 in a best of five series, knowing they have to take the next three games, is this time to pull out something crazy? Or do you kind of go back to what you know? Honestly speaking, CLG should lose at this point. You're down 2-0. You have to win three games in a row. On top of that, the game before you just got destroyed. Like, Curse isn't playing bad at all right now. They're playing extremely well. They got a free Baron at 17 minutes because CLG did a bad push. So Curse is punishing CLG very well for their mistakes. So when you're down 0-2 and the enemy team isn't throwing, they're not playing bad, what do you do? You go back to your old picks and lose anyway? I, I don't know what they can do to come back. I, I will honestly be really surprised if CLG 3-0s uh, Curse after this. It would be impressive, to say the least. So we'll see if this break, within this break, they can kind of regroup and make that final push. Now, we'll be right back after this with our third battle between Curse and CounterLogic Gaming to see who will advance to the semifinals. The North American Summer Playoffs continue after this. We've trained three weeks for this, man. Have we trained a whole year for this? Dexter goes in, but he has no kill potential, so he's forced to flash out on that one. Nobody can follow him. Getting a little too hypey on that. Any damage to come from the outside? Oh, he took the, oh, he he the bomb on. That's one of the worst feelings in the world. Quas is right in the middle of the fight, playing it like he's Mundo. Seraph trying to run out. Him and Link have just the same amount of health, equaling 800. Oh! But now it's all down to zero. 